I know that you are very familiar with taking the integrals of different functions, but what we're going to be looking at is what do you do if, if there's just all sorts of different integrals and you're just not exactly sure how to take the integral. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to evaluate a variety of integrals using basic integration techniques. So pretty much we're going to be, the goal is going to be to recognize how to begin an integral problem and then evaluate it. Some tricks to try. Um, can you simply take the integral right away? Sometimes people kind of miss that step and they just try to go into a bunch of different steps, but that's definitely the first thing that you would like to try. And then is there a formula that you can use or another technique to get you going? So we're just going to do all sorts of different examples to get us ready for this. Right? Um, the first one is just, um, can I do a simple u substitution? So that's exactly what I'm going to do on this one. I have a square root down here, which maybe would make me think that I would like to do um, an inverse trig function, but um, I can just do a simple u substitution. So I would like to let u equal 16 minus x squared. The derivative of that would be negative 2x dx. I notice that I have a 5x dx instead. So if I multiplied the inside by negative 2 fifths, that would then become negative 2x, so I'm going to do negative 5 halves on the outside. So if I reset up this problem, I'm going to have negative 5 halves, and then on the inside, um, I'm going to have u to the negative 1 half, and then everything else turns into du. And then from here, this is just going to be a straightforward problem. I'm going to have negative 5 halves. The integral of u to the negative 1 half would be 2u to the positive 1 half, uh, my 2's are going to cancel, I'm going to end up getting negative 5, square root of my u, which is 16 minus x squared, plus c. Alright, next example. On this example, we might be thinking of u substitution, but um, du is definitely not there. So what we want to do, since this is raised to a power, is actually we are going to expand it first. So we actually will do 1 plus 3x squared times 1 plus 3x squared. And then see where that takes us. So we're going to have the integral. If I FOIL that out, I'm going to get... 1 plus 3x squared plus 3x squared, which would give me 6x squared, plus 3x squared times 3x squared, which would give me 9x to the fourth. And then from here, I can just take the integral of each part. So my integral would be x plus um, 6 thirds x cubed, which would be 2x cubed, and then plus 9 fifths x to the fifth, plus c, and then I would be done with that one. Okay, next one we're going to use an inverse trig rule. The reason that it's under this example is because if I looked at it, I would like to do a u substitution, but I can't because u is not there. And I do know that this looks like an arc sine formula. So there are just two things that I would need to recognize. First thing that we might want to do is just bump that 5 out front if we would like to. A um, couple things I just need to do on this one. My a would be 4, and then my u would be x. And I do need to make sure du is there. du is just 1 dx, which is there there's just a one there instead. So I'm all set. So this is an arctan problem, arc, excuse me, arc sine problem. The integral of arc sine, let me just write over here, in case you don't have your cards handy in front of you, is just going to be, oops, how about we make this a du over the square root of u a squared minus u squared. There we go. We'll equal arc sine u over a plus c. So all I need to do on this one, my five is just going to tag along with me. I'll have arc sine u over a plus c, and then I will be done. All right, next one. Um, when we get to one that looks like this, I definitely cannot do a u substitution. I do see an x squared down in the bottom, which makes me think that I might want to do something with arc tan or arc sine or arc cosine, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I know that the integral, if I have du, the integral of du over, um, let's see, x u squared plus a squared, that is going to equal 1 over a arc tan of u over a. So this is my goal, is to make my problem look something where it says u squared plus a squared. So I am going to complete the square on this one. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have 1 over x squared minus 8x. We'll place the 25 on the outside. Remember when we're completing the square, we're going to divide this middle number by 2, which would give me negative 4, and then I'm going to square it, and that will give me 16. Then if I put a plus 16 on the inside, I have to undo it by putting a minus 16 on the outside. And then from here, if I work this out, I'm going to have 1 over, this will simplify into x minus 4 squared plus 9. And then from here, it definitely is set up very similarly to the arctan problem, so we just need to identify our parts. We're going to have u, or excuse me, we'll start with a, a equaling 3, 
and then we'll have u equaling x minus 4, and then we do need to check for our du. Our du would just be 1 dx, and I have all my parts. So my final answer is just going to be 1 over a, so it's going to be 1 over 3 arc tan u over a, so x minus 4 over a, and then plus c. Right, and I will be continuing the problems in the next video.